What's going on everybody? Chase with iDub Hockey, hanging out with Matt, who is the product manager, Sticks for CCM Hockey. We have your very exciting and very different Trigger 7 Pro line in front of us. I can't wait to talk about you know the new colors, the, the performance upgrades and all that, but let's talk about just the style of play that the rib core line is designed for. Yeah, absolutely. So for us, the CCM rib core is our low kick, quick release kind of stick. So we're really focusing on getting the puck on and off the blade as quick as possible. Really works well with players who likes to take a lot of snapshots and are shooting from much closer to the net than they would be, let's say, from a jet speed or a tax product. And then if you had to name one player that really exemplifies what it means to be a rib, car, rib core shooter, who would that be? I mean, it's really hard to not name Sidney Crosby, right? He's been using rib core forever, but he's really the kind of player that you should be thinking of when you're talking about rib core. Again, this idea of being close to the net, doing you know, all of those quick release shots that beats the goalie, um, that's, that's a really good endorsee for us to have with Rip Core. Yeah, absolutely. But let's talk about this year's Trigger 7 Pro. The first thing you notice is the green is gone. The green is gone indeed. So we wanted to, to change things up a little bit and we did that by incorporating, I think, let's call it new technology in the graphics in a sense that we're incorporating new chrome finish, new holographic chromes effect on the stick that's gonna be in specific rib core logos throughout the stick. So it really gives it a fresher look, something new, something that we haven't seen out there yet. So we're really excited about this new change of colorway in rib core that's gonna be throughout the line. Um, and, and you know, it's again, as you were saying, a little bit different in the green, but the feedback's been really, really good around that. So we're excited to launch this. Absolutely, as the player should be excited to use it, looking so good the, this year, but also because of the performance upgrades too. So, uh, you know, visually your eye's gonna be drawn to the purple and not the green, but as far as, you know, that longtime rib core user, they're getting a really great upgrade as well as anyone else with that new STP carbon from Sigma Correct. Tech. So as we are doing on jet speed and we're doing on tax as well, we're upgrading our pro models to Sigma STP. So it's again, carbon fiber that's coming from Sigma Tech, our longtime partner. So it's really is the, the new level, if I can say, of that carbon fiber that we're integrating now into that pro model here. So that's gonna lead to better durability, but also better balance and a lower weight than its predecessor. So we're now talking 375 grams for a 7 Pro 2022. And again, a stick that feels much better than the 6 Pro last year. Can you talk me through how it differs from what we saw in the Trigger 6 Pro and you know what the players expected to feel out there? Yeah, absolutely. So we've upgraded the agility blade that was on the Trigger 6 Pro now to agility 2 which is essentially improved because of the new Sigma STP that we have on the blade. So it's still a regular stiffness blade in that sense that it is softer than our jet speed blade, but stiffer than our tax blade. And this is really is for two purposes. The first one being shooting performance and making sure we're keeping that quick release working well with that blade stiffness and obviously that accuracy that comes with it. But also from a feels perspective, this is where, really where we want this blade to shine and to have the best feel as possible when you're playing the puck, stick handling, and doing passes on the ice. And so obviously the, the playability is significantly upgraded here. We have a big change in graphics. What about personalization? Is there something that you can do to the stick to make sure that no one else picks it up yeah, and runs away with yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So on the pro model here, and also the Trigger 7 in the Ripcord team, which we'll talk in a second, you'll have the name bar printer, which gonna you know, allow you to customize your stick in store or online and really get your name, your number written in it, or anything you'd want really, uh, but really make it unique, make it your own. So while we have the pro-inspired name bar printer, this is a very pro-inspired stick, you know, right. from again, top to bottom, just truly elite level features. And as we've mentioned before in uh, some other videos, when you upgrade that top end stick, it's that second price point that really benefits from it too. So, you know, if I was using the Ribcore 6 last year, why should I be so excited about the Ribcore 7 this year? So essentially what we've done here is upgrade that full construction to Sigma Tech. So like we were saying, we've upgraded the top model to Sigma STP. This opens the door for us to use what we had on our previously top end sticks into that second price point, Ribcore 7. So you're getting a stick that's better balanced, more durable and lighter than before. So we're shaving about five grams here versus last year model, but essentially the balance and the playability is gonna you know, be noticeably better than we had with the Trigger 6. 
And then how about the rest of the features too? I mean, sometimes it's hard to even distinguish the difference between the Trigger 7 Pro and the Trigger 7. So what kind of carryover technologies or trickle down technologies from the 7 Pro we're gonna find in the 7? Um, the idea here is that by bringing Sigmatex into the shaft, this allowed us to really match the kick point or at least get as close as possible of what we could from how the Pro model is behaving. So when you're talking that flex point, you're talking about how the stick shoots, how you're able to load it and release the shooting. So all of this is going to be very similar to that Pro model, but into that Trigger 7 model. And like I kind of mentioned before too, if I was using the 6 and now I'm excited, love the purple, ready to jump into the 7, yeah. when am I going to notice shooting uh, differently with that updated flex profile that matches the 7 Pro? So again, it's all going to relate back to how easily you can load the puck and how quick that release is. That's really, you know, the focus we've always had with the Pro models and Ripcore was to load it and release it as quickly as possible and really surprise that goalie, if I can say, with how the stick's going to behave. So you're getting a lot of that into that 7 now. Uh, and I'd say even closer to the pro models than we had in the six last year. Uh, that's very exciting, very exciting. Especially, you know, we have the Skeleton Plus in this price point. We still have an amazing blade core. So let's finish off with that feel like we talked about in the 7 Pro. It really is so important. So uh, walk me through what's going on inside of the blade core there. Absolutely. So here, a little bit like we're doing with the Sigma STP carrying down from last year pro model, we're taking the agility blade from the Trigger 6 Pro and bringing this down to the Trigger 7 this year. So you're getting, again, a regular stiffness blade and something that's really going to elevate your shooting in terms of how easy it is to shoot and how quick the release is going to be off that blade. Now, these two elite level models are for, you know, true top-end hockey that might be out of some player's budget. Now you have some great medium price point or competitive price point sticks that really help to fill that void. The first one here is the team. And arguably one of my favorite designs in this just because it is still just so dark uh, and just looks so amazing but we've seen a couple team sticks from ccm in the past why does this so special for this price point correct so you're right about the design being kind of stealthy and you know with the little silver finish here so it looks really really great uh, what you're getting there is a full c6 construction so it's it's again a very durable very well balanced stick that's weighting about 445 grams um, and essentially you know a really performance oriented product you're still getting the ascent 2 blade um, on that team model here that's again you know in that same direction of helping with the quick release just not necessarily to the same level or same performance as the agility ones there but still going after that quick release aspect of it you're also getting the e-geometry here as well with the asymmetrical taper and again um, you know that low kick flex profile if we can say that's going to help players release the puck as quickly as possible just fully loaded with high-end technologies but at a little more of an approachable price point Correct. Correct. now as we move on to the 86k this is likely for that maybe new to competitive hockey player that is ready to start taking the game serious. So this is not your recreational level stick. This is where some real performance comes out, just like some real style points with that full silver graphics. Yes, so yes, there you go. So again, you know, we see so many great trickle down technologies like the e-geometry, but walk me through a couple of these that really make this stand out from the competition. So you're right about the the e-geometry and that's one of the major upgrades we did to that stick at that price point is to have, you know, the same geometry that we have on our pro models and even the team stick there. So really having that asymmetrical taper to help players benefit from the quick release and all of the low kick aspect of the stick is what you'll be finding here. You're also getting the same Ascent 2 blade that you have on the team stick. So really, really performance oriented blade here at that, you know, more affordable price point as you were saying. And as we move down and we finish this off with the 84K, this is really that casual recreational player, but that doesn't mean it doesn't have some great features in it too. So uh, again, let's, let's talk about a couple of the key features that are great for that recreational, you know, casual play. Yeah, absolutely. So here in, in opposition to all the other sticks, you're getting a traditional T-shaped shaft. So something that's, you know, what players are more accustomed to, you're getting a stiffer blade here on that one, just again, help players that don't necessarily, you know, load the stick in a specific way or load the blade in a specific way. So something that's going to benefit most. And then obviously a very durable, well-balanced construction to again, help players, you know, 
have the stick last a long time. And have a whole lot of fun, and especially for, you know, a little more of a traditional design in the shaft shape too. Just gonna be a great choice for that new to hockey player that hopefully develops into one of these uh, higher end rib core players because the performance is unreal this year. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, thank you again so much for having us out here and walking us through the new Trigger 7 Pro line. No problem. And for you at home, then want to check out these rib cores, make sure you head over to icewarehouse.com.